So in Modo 12.1 we've made some changes to the Modo Modes toolbar to improve access to all of Modo's tools, to make Modo Modes more consistent across, across all layouts and to also reduce clutter. So in the top left hand corner the tool palette buttons now swap the different tool palettes within the form itself and we've also included the game tools in there as well. So Alt will open up a popover form which you can pin and holding down control and clicking on a button will open up that form in a palette. So the central area of Modo Modes now has a setup button. The pivot selection mode is now nested below the center selection mode button and you can access that by right clicking. The new smoothing groups UI is accessible through a button on the right hand side and finally there's also a render button which is the same as doing an F9 render. With the increasing number of kits that are being developed for Modo we needed a more effective way of managing those kits within the UI so that the Modo Modes toolbar didn't become cluttered. So in 12.2 we've now got a button that says kits on the right hand side and when you click on that it'll open up a popover form which will list all of your installed kits in a horizontal toolbar. And you can access those kits just by clicking on the button like you would before. Um, so for Unreal Bridge here, if I want to access those tools, I can click within this form. If I want to pin it, I can just drag it off and the uh, popover form for the kits will disappear. If I want to have access to my kits all the time, then if I click on that and drag that off, I can pin that anywhere I want um, within my workspace. And then you can access the kits as you would before. And to manage the kits in that toolbar, you can access the kit manager that was included in Moto 12 um, from that toolbar. And finally, we've also added some tools to the basic tool form to elevate their importance within the UI and make them easier to access. So the Vertex Normal Toolkit can be accessed from this button, and the Edge Weight Tool has also been included within that form and we've renamed it to the edge crease tool to better describe exactly what it's useful for. And also the non-constrained version of the topology pen has been added into the add geometry menu here. And that, that's the version of the tool which could previously be only found under the polygon tab. 